Afternoon, everybody. So this afternoon, I'm wearing amber. And you'll notice, like I said, that afternoon. I normally do these in the morning, and I wasn't actually intending on doing one of these today until I heard a radio show this morning, which really got my back up. So I'm wearing amber because I'm talking about monitoring and how if flexible remote or hybrid working isn't working in your organization, there is a very high likelihood the problem isn't with your people, it's actually with your managers. But before we talk about that, let's just talk about the colors so we know what we're talking about. So we've got the three green behaviors, thinking, communicating, and improving. Those are the essence of leading. And that's because they all focus on making things better because that's what will happen if you have that sort of in your diary in the right proportion then there's the amber behaviors monitoring and directing just two of those and those things if you have them in your diary in the right proportion will help prevent you from going backwards they're the essence of managing stopping things from going backwards stopping you from dropping balls and managing risk then there's red doing and brown floating now those things if you have them in your diary too much could take you, your people and your organization backwards because they take time away from the things that you should be doing as a manager. But then there's another one, which is blue. And blue is about living. And living is about recharge, looking after your mental, physical and emotional well-being. So this morning on my way to my swim, on the way back from my swim, actually, and I was listening to Radio 5 Live and they were having a debate about how flexible remote and hybrid working weren't working and why. And what really started to get my back up, there were two things actually. One was that the focus yet again has come around to the responsibility of people and how managers are concerned that people, if they're at home, will be spending their time doing the washing, watching television, doing the ironing, everything but working. Okay, that was the first thing. And this is really getting on my nerves. <laughs> Because to tell you the truth, look, I run a business. If I had somebody working for me and I wanted them to achieve something, I wouldn't care how much time they spent doing other things as long as they achieved the things I wanted them to achieve. And this is the problem. Managers still are being let off and being allowed to blame people for remote working not working when actually the only thing that stops remote working working is a manager having a very clear about what goal, a very clear view about what goal or objective or target they want their people to achieve and monitoring them to achieve it. If it takes you eight hours to do it or six or four or two or even 10 minutes, I don't care as long as you achieve it. My job as a manager is to make sure that all the barriers are removed and that you don't go over the top. And if you are struggling, that I figure out how I can help you to do that. That's all I have to do as a manager. And you don't need to be sat in front of me for eight hours a day in order for me to do that as a manager. If you're a manager and you think you do, then you've got a bit of a problem. Okay, that's the first thing. The second thing was a guy, and I had to talk about this one because the guy that rang in, I think he probably worked for someone I used to work for. <laughs> so his name was Phil. He was from Edinburgh and he worked for a big bank. Hmm, I wonder who that could be. So anyway, he'd gone back to the office, a 1500 person office that was like a ghost town. And he did that because he had a restricted amount of um, space in his home. And so he chose to go back to the office and he wasn't complaining about flexible working for him. He was actually complaining about the flexible working that his manager was doing. Because what was happening was that his manager was not making themselves available for him as an individual to manage him. OK, and he kept hearing the excuses. I'm too busy. I'm doing other things. I've got other things to do. I haven't got time to spend with you. OK, now a bit of a newsflash for any managers out there. Results are not achieved by managers. I know you'd like to think that they are, but they're not. Results are achieved by the people you manage. And anything that you do which takes the attention, your attention away from your people is a potential risk, okay? Because if one of your people, or two, or three, or four, have a problem, and you are not making time for them, then you have become the problem because you are actually magnifying the problem by not fixing it, or helping them to fix it. So Phil was complaining, saying that, you know, his manager is more interested in ticking boxes in spreadsheets and going to meetings with people more senior than him to manage his own career, than he was about spending time with Phil to talk about technical issues or personal issues or whatever else, okay? So this is really starting to get my back up because we are for too long being allowed to blame the lack of flexible working working on the people who are doing the flexible working. If flexible working isn't working, there is only one place you should go to 
to start, and that is the manager. Because if it isn't working, it means that either A, targets haven't been set, or if they have been set and they're not being achieved, and it's been allowed to get to a point where things are so bad and nothing's been done about it, that is also the manager's fault for not checking up to make sure things are working. But please don't start believing that you have to be sat in front of somebody to do that. You don't need to actually spend that much time with your people to understand whether things are working or whether they're not. Okay, so that's a rant post. I'm back with a rant post. You can tell things are getting better for me because I haven't done a rant post for a while. Now, if you are a business and you do find that flexible or hybrid working isn't working as well as you want it to be, get in touch. Come and have a chat because it's actually relatively simple to find out how your managers are spending their time and whether they're spending the time on the things that will make sure that things don't go wrong. Okay, so that's it for today. Had to do that one. I would have done this tomorrow, but I just couldn't. So in the meantime, uh, love to hear your thoughts below in the comments. And in the meantime, have a great day. Have a great week.